in this video we are going to simulate in uh, Hecras uh, version 6.6 .6 using the mesh or the geometry created in Hecras 2025 if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe for more of these videos first we have to open our Hecras 2025 where we will create our uh, mesh or geometry so after opening our RAS, we have to uh, create a new project. So anyway, we can create a new project. It's up to you. Uh, you have already created some of them. So after that, we need to uh, create our uh, file name. And then after creating the file name, so we can now ready to... Uh, load the projection so again it is located in your created folder so be sure to uh, before making the simulation you have to prepare your data okay and here we save it as our so now we can load our terrain so now add the terrain. Open and then import. So after loading the terrain, we can now add our geometries. So click on the geometry. So save file name of our geometry and then we now create the 2d area or the computational mesh so in here we only create a small portion because uh, to make our tutorial uh, faster and create a uh, use uh, triangular mesh for this uh, polygon uh, for this region uh, if you want to uh, now we can add our we can also create a polygon for our river so we add lines to our river the banks basically the river banks and after that we can uh, use this as rectangular rectangular um, shape for our river and now we can have we right click on the mesh and then export into Hecra 6.6 .6. so this one that is our the location and later on we will open that in our uh, Hecra 6.6 .6. so now we are ready to open our Hecra 6.6 and then we now and then we create a new project so and see see new project So after setting and loading the terrain, we now add the geometry. So we edit our geometry and then go to the 2D flow area and then to the import. So that's it. We import the one that we created at the Hecras 2025. It is locked and closed. So we have now our 2D. Uh, geometry to so the area 
we can add the uh, boundary condition outflow of our simulation click on ok and then save edits and then we go to uh, edit geometric data and we open our created geometry so we have now our geometry in our geometry data editor save this and then we go to the uh, unsteady flow data now add our in here we will add on the rain is the available data we have and then we paste our rainfall precipitation copy and then paste This is one day, so we input our uh, time, so it's October 2022. <coughs> okay, so please. Save our unsteady flow data. Click OK and then we are now ready to run our uh, simulation. Don't forget to save. So run the unsteady flow. So for that we go to the uh, tolerance. We put the initial condition R. Save the plan. Okay. And your file name. And our simulation time. So in here we use October 1, 2022. And it will end to October 31, 2022. So the same as our data in rainfall and here we simulate it at uh, uh, 10 minutes then in compute so this is just fast because our mesh is small so after this after the simulation uh, we proceed to our result in the rust mapper so just very quick so we close and then go to the rust mapper for our result see the result so we can turn this off set plan now we get results so that's it we have now our simulation for using the uh, geometry or mesh coming from Hipcast so thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe share or comment down your questions in the comment section keep updated thank you guys